we arrived at Mountain Ridge and the fog had cleared by the time we unloaded. It was a beautiful day. It was warm, 70s or higher, and there really was not a breeze. And you could tell because only one of the windmills was really rotating, even ever so slightly. So we drove up to the check-in office and we got our tags and paid our dues and got our wristbands and we went out to enjoy the park. I will say it's well organized. They do have good signage and when you get there you'll see there's always plenty of people who have selected various campsites. Some primitive and some are trailer equipped and I believe they have cabins as well. Please check the website for more information. We decided to follow the lead to uh, friends who had been there before and we tagged along and enjoyed having some dust. Uh, as I say later in the video, the best time to go to Mountain Ridge is either when it's raining, when it's misting, or when you just had some rain. I did not have my particle separator set up and I can tell because you can hear my voice today. Sinus infection and dust is always a result of not breathing good air. Now it's just, just regular dirt, it's not coal dust or anything. But either way, after breathing it in for a day, or, uh, not everybody's sinuses play nice. Very well mapped and organized. I didn't do any electronic mapping because we were following a group and really just wanted to go and enjoy the day. We had just done Mines and Meadows the day before, so it was a long session of riding and cleaning and getting everything set up. Cameras and chargers. And Mountain Ridge, from what I understand, you could spend a weekend there. It is a favorite of many of our fellow riders. I will go back. There is a muddy section, there's wooded areas, there is long, dusty trails, as we had said before. In this review, we're going to give you an extended view on some of the trails. We're not going to really go over too much of the names, uh, other than Big John. We had some of those muddy areas that were really entertaining had to do a winch job <laughs> once or twice but everybody just enjoyed it it's a change of pace it is a lot of gravel rocky as Pennsylvania is but not so bad you will find some of the harder trails coming back from the overlook to be very reminiscent of famous Reading Outdoors and other large rock tumbling trails now of course on a side-by-side -side scale, certainly not on a Jeep. We pretty much were riding our standard issue Honda, Can-Am, Polaris. We also had a brand new Can-Am X3 with us who was enjoying brand new tires, enjoying the horsepower as well as the bigger clearance that they did get with said tires. there are some hill climbs. I can say we only saw this one. I'm sure there's a bunch out there, but we didn't have more than a, a day to explore the park. And that really is enough to see all that you need to. 150 miles, yes, if you want to see every ounce. Or if you're doing single track, please allow yourself a whole weekend to go up there. And you can get weekend passes, and I understand season passes. This is a location that's near Shanksville, which is near the Flight 93 Memorial for 9-11.
as we had stated earlier, if you are not the lead vehicle and it is dusty, you're going to get that. And it winds up just getting on your windshield or your visor, whatever you may have. But as long as you have a, some kind of filtration, you'll be okay. It just is a very dry area. Uh, there are exceptions, and like I said, there are great muddy trails and bog-like areas. But if you do not go after, you do have some precipitation of some kind. You will have the dust just because of the nature of the trails and the open air and the sun beating down on the dirt. Most of these trails will indicate when they are one-way or two-way trails. Please be aware in the dust you will have oncoming traffic where applicable and just to stay on your side of the trail. Just be aware. The signs are there. They're very good and they're labeled. But if you're going to pull off to the side, make sure that you pull off of the trail so you allow others to pass. We did run into a couple breakdowns and unfortunately if it's stuck in the middle of the trail, nothing you can do but it's always polite to your fellow riders to get the units out of the way if possible. Of course, muddy trails will be everywhere, so be sure that you have a tow rope and a buddy or a winch and you know how to use it. Uh, we actually had to do some of this in some of the deeper mud holes, but that's what the fun is and we enjoyed it. There's nothing worse than not having the proper equipment when you go riding, so please always travel with a buddy. We'll let you enjoy the rest of this video without too much more narration, but enjoy. Mountain Ridge is a lot of fun and we highly recommend it.
thank you to our new sponsor, Evolution Power Sports, your pre-owned off-road vehicle location for all that you need and parts and more. Please check online for our beaten trail apparel with a click of the button. So we recommend that you get out to Mountain Ridge. It's centrally located in Pennsylvania, and it has all kinds of trails. You can do your hill climbs, your rides, you can do camping, and you can get in the mud. There's plenty to do at Mountain Ridge, and we recommend that you do take a ride out there. Check out the maps, check out their website, and let us know, have you been there before? And in the comments, tell us what is your favorite location that you go riding and bring your ATV, your bike, or your side-by-side. -side. And until then, we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.